Now we have come down to the museum and it's a real treat for me to have Susanna Constantine alongside me, the fashion journalist, to show me around the museum and all the different fashion as we go through the ages. And we're going to start, I hope you're impressed, I've gone with my yep. Suzanne Longlen inspired outfit mm -hmm. here, which I think is... that's your excuse, <laughs> Carthy. I don't know what's but, underneath yeah, her. There are no, there are no power of ankles. Well, there are no weights in my hems, which mm. is the first thing that you notice about this. I mean, I f don't you find it astonishing that anyone, male or female, would be able to play in something like this, unable to move. And the weight, 4.9 kilograms. And I've actually tried to pick that up. and It's hard, this, isn't it? I'm properly, this is my left arm, is my excuse. And we were trying to work out where the weight would go. And I think if, if it's like Her Majesty the Queen, I know that all her um, hemlines have weights in them to stop them blowing up. It's very to sensible. Her modesty. So um, maybe and that's it was exactly the same what thing. happened here. So this is the early, early days. Cannot imagine playing in an outfit like that. Mm. And, and we've moved on so much. And it slowly starts to move if we come over here, where there are some of the more spectacular outfits. There's not a particular era here. We've got Suzanne Longlen who changed from these long skirts mm. to the shorter dresses. But just tell me a little bit about the gold, I stunning mean, outfit. I, looking here, they seem to be the sort of a collection of the most iconic outfits. So here, the gold. Okay, can you guess in a million years who wore the gold? I wouldn't know. I would probably say somebody more modern. Like that would be a Serena Hingis, a Serena Williams, or a Martina Hingis. That mixing them together. Sue Barker. <laughs> I can't Who that. would have thought Sue Barker would come out I can't in a gold dress? Picture Sue Barker wearing no. a gold dress. But, but I love it. Look how beautiful it's also, made. Because you can sort of see with the lights here. Mm. That was an era where there was a lot of floodlit tennis yes. and so that would sparkle in the floodlights and that was the reason for these glitzy outfits the one that looks like Elvis Presley yeah exactly but wouldn't you think as a player being the opponent you, it would be so distracting maybe that's to have the point. all that bling yeah maybe we're <laughs> going to see high vis next that's why Sue Barker won a grand slam <laughs> <laughs> now if you come around here there's a little section where you can try on uh, some of the outfits and you get to, to feel what the material is like uh, Susanna, over here we've got um, the hip enhancer, isn't there? But the corset is. This is quite interesting. But it's got you know, the whalebone infrastructure. Again, in terms of how you play tennis and feel comfortable, you just don't, do you? I mean, it's how impossible. do you yeah. bend? I mean, how? <laughs> look, look how far that can get around my waist. And that, that would, and that Not would be on you, all. wouldn't it? That would, you, somebody would be yeah. behind I mean, pulling that. You, you couldn't, you couldn't breathe. Imagine the exertion when you're playing a match and then not being able to breathe in this. And the hip enhancer I find fascinating because it talks about making your bottom a bit bigger, which is something that is quite a current trend, isn't it? It certainly is. Look at Kim Kardashian. That's what it's all about. But you would never have thought. So what's the date on this? This one doesn't say the date, this, it but I think we're still back into the 1920s, which is the original, the original outfits we're they, looking at. They were open to, because then it was all the flat dresses. It yeah. was about being kind of washboard thin. So why did they have that the bar in yes. that, That's interesting. You, you do have a love of tennis, don't you? I think we're coming I towards your era that you're interested yes, in. I have always been obsessed since a small girl. And I started um, really when I understood what we were watching. Uh, probably in 1970 when I was uh, eight years old and my love of tennis has continued ever since then. Well, so this yes. is the Billie Jean King era. It's a little dark over here, but if you uh, explain the outfits for us, they're... Um, but this is more like, what we think, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. And, it, you know, it hasn't evolved so much from here, I don't think. That looks like a Chris Ebert, Chrissy Ebert, don't you think? You know, it's very feminine still and you've got little touches of the, the rhinestones and looks like cashmere, which I'm very pleased to see. There's um, a little change here, because you're going from this style we had there, but mm. the power and the athleticism and the sponsorship came mm. into sport here, and women's tennis because of Billie Jean King yeah. and all okay. of the players around that time. Yeah. So you can sort of see that in the change of the outfits. Yeah, but there's no sponsorship on there. No. It's just a thing of beauty. And look how well made it is. I mean, the detailing on that is incredible. And that's sort of lacking today a little bit. The detail, the, the, detail, the beauty yeah. of it all. Um, and look, look at the rhinestones going down there. I love that. Still a little bit of bling. That must there? be Steffi Graf. That looks like her body shape. She's quite a, a cornet, broad-shouldered, narrowed hips. Yes, that does look very recognisable, doesn't it? And then this, uh, just briefly, is the changing room for the ladies, which I think moved in the 80s to the clubhouse that had been elsewhere, but then it all became part of the same era. So, again, that's part of the 70s when women... The WTA tour was formed as a standalone event, and then the, in the 80s, the dressing room was moved into the clubhouse. So the two male and female sides coming together a bit more before we get to 
the area that uh, I think you, you recognise more of because yes. it's the current day tennis. But um, in terms of the outfits, it's not just the women, is it? It's the men that were quite no, important the, around Absolutely. This time. I mean, look at this one here, the kind of long trousers. I mean, almost we should be at Lord's. That's Roger <laughs> yeah. Federer's. Um, but it's long the, trousers. The gold and the, yeah. It's a statement for Roger Federer. Isn't it? Yeah, and he's, you would never expect him to come out in something like that. But actually, when you see the photograph of him down there, it all makes sense. And he looks fabulous in it. And he looks respectful of the game. And it's not about the outfit, you know, it's still about the game. And we talked about Billie Jean King affecting mm. the tour and then finances. The knock on effect for people like Serena Williams and Venus Williams. Uh, here is, is huge, isn't it? Mm. Because they have, they're a brand now, mm. and part of that is their clothing brands, which they're mm. both very into fashion. Yeah, and I think particular Serena Williams, um, you know, I love how she brings her personality onto the court with her gold jewellery, and it's, it's, it's kind of not just tennis, you know, she is an all-encompassing brand herself, and it's not just about the brand she's wearing or the sponsorship, it's Serena Williams is the brand. Well, this is all about superstars, and you're about to go and watch the tennis. Who are you looking forward to seeing? I, I mean, I will watch anyone. <laughs> I, mean, I will watch anyone, but I'm very excited to see um, Djokovic, obviously. And I think the young British guy, Clark, I think he's in a, re a really exciting player to watch, and he's in the doubles, so yes, I'd love to see yes. him. Yes, well, he's playing mixed doubles with the 15-year-old. That is oh, he's the with new Coco. Suits, so he's, with, yes. he's playing with Coco he's playing Schnell. With Coco, Coco, Coco Golf, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, so she's incredible. That is so that. exciting. <laughs> okay. I love to see your excitement. Yes. Tennis and the fashion. It's, it's yeah. great to see both of them together. A really brilliant look around the museum alongside Susanna.